burning around here, but the, this weekend must have must have helped it a tremendous amount for those firefighters out there battling these fires. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. I'm sure as we go through the week, we'll really be able to tell how much they've helped uh, with uh, reducing the spread or helping with containment or just helping out the general uh, conditions across the state. So that's something that we will definitely get some updates with. And that goes for our drought as well. That will have an update for on Thursday. But this is a good sign. I have a list of all the rain totals here to date. So starting at the beginning of the month, but really all the rain that we collected happened through this short weekend for most locations. You can see a story over two and a half inches all in the green at this point in time. I've used this graphic in the in the past where I've showed you where we've been behind and it's been all in the red, but we are all in the green. So this is where we're sitting currently for Astoria and this is how much above for the departure they are. So they are doing pretty well there. Hillsboro at over two inches. We are at two and a half inches now for the month of September. Usually our normal for September is just an inch and a half. So we have uh, collected at least an inch above that. So this is a good sign and all that moisture right there sure did us uh, uh, some real help. Uh, and I'm sure when we get that drought condition update on Thursday, we will see some small improvements. Maybe we'll see some larger improvements, but we will at least not see it go in the wrong direction, which we have for most of the summer. All right, high pressure down to the southwest, low pressure to the northwest. This high pressure is what's going to kind of control the weather over the next day or so. It's going to continue to shift off in this direction. So right now we have that northwest flow. Still pretty cool. There's a few showers over the Cascade foothills late tonight that you could see right here and those will be passing off towards the east, but then they reach the mountains. They kind of fizzle out and so we're not expecting much moisture to get past that barrier right there. All right, check this out. Depending on where uh, you live, you may have seen about an inch of rain or you may have seen just a splash or two. We had plenty of activity from Hillsborough extending over towards uh, Portland up to Vancouver through about Scappoos and Kelso there extending through Callaton Clark County today. But if you, you know, are a little bit farther to the south, look at those rain totals. I mean, they were not nearly as impressive. So our rain total throughout the weekend was much larger here in Portland than somewhere like McMinnville or down towards Corvallis. All right, 55 degrees coming out of seaside tonight. You can see it's kind of a quiet night tomorrow. We're back to sunshine. So we had all that rain. It's gone. We're going to trade it in. We got some sunshine. And it's going to still be pretty cool, though. Temperatures down to the lower 70s, so we will be below average, but nice weather to be outside. Future cast will show us drying up through the overnight hours. Early tomorrow morning, we may be holding on to some clouds, but I would say by the time we get to the late morning, we clear it on out. So if you do wake up anywhere from about 6, you know, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, you may see some cloud coverage out there. Sunshine by the afternoon. We keep it going on Tuesday. Tuesday's forecast is just marvelous. Maybe some high thin clouds, but we're not dealing with any sort of rain. And then we'll have to watch a disturbance that could roll on in as we get closer to about Wednesday, bringing in more clouds. But I have us at 83 degrees on Tuesday, so we do warm on up. Fall arrives on Wednesday there, and then we have really nice weather. In fact, by Friday, we may see temperatures into the mid-80s, Wayne. Yeah, nice weather and clean air. All right, still ahead.